All right, so this is a Bourne Harbour cycle question. Um, so this is from OCR specification. Uh, I believe it was June 2019, paper one, I think it was. Um, so this, although this is specifically OCR, it's going to have an incredible amount of crossover with AQA, Edexcel, etc. So let's jump straight into this question here. Um, as always, interactive video, I would like you to, to attempt the question yourself, follow along. If you're completely baffed, just carry on playing the video, let me explain yourself, then go back, keep trying the questions. Practice is, makes perfect in chemistry. So the table below shows enthalpy changes involving potassium, oxygen, potassium oxide, uh, giving us this potassium oxide. So typical data table you will see here for all the different enthalpies. Um, that we have here. So the incomplete Born Harbor cycle below can be used to determine the lattice enthalpy of potassium oxide, um, which I assume, yeah, that's what we're going to be uh, calculating in question two. Um, in the boxes, complete the species present in the cycle uh, include state symbols. So they've asked us to include state symbols here. I recommend, depending on your example, they may not specify this. So always just put them in to be on the safe side. Now we have to work out what's happening here. So I would recommend before attempting any question like this, um, remember what the different enthalpies stand for. Um, and it would make things a, a lot easier for you. So first off, we're going to be going from this solid ionic lattice. So on this left hand side, we always know that we're going to be having the enthalpy of formation. And then on the right hand side, we know we're going to be having that enthalpy of the lattice um, association or formation of the lattice specifically. Um, so let's draw in uh, LATH. Right, so this is the lattice enthalpy, this is the formation enthalpy. So the difference between these two, if you remember back to year one, the enthalpy of formation is when one mole of solid uh, substance is formed from its constituent atoms in their standard states, standard conditions, understanding conditions, sorry. So in that case, on this side of the uh, reaction system, the Born Harbor energy cycle, we're going to be dealing with atoms. And on this side, we're going to be dealing with ions because the lattice, the enthalpy, uh, the lattice enthalpy is the formation of sol solid ionic lattice from its constituent gaseous ions. So up here, we're going to be having some sort of gaseous ions going on. Um, right, so let's jump into this. So what we have to do is we're going to be splitting these up into their constituent atoms, so K2 and oxygen, um, in their standard states. So first off, let's do potassium. Now, uh, let's change color to black, make things a bit better. Uh, so potassium is a solid at room temperature because it's a metal. Now we've got two here, but once we split this compound up, we have to put it back to its atoms, so it's going to have a molar ratio of two, and then Oxygen. Now, oxygen's a one you have to be aware of. All the diatomic gases and halogens, you're going to have to split up so that we've got half a mole of O2, which is essentially just O. All right. Hopefully that makes sense because then we can go from here to here. Now, the standard state for this room temperature, standard conditions of oxygen is a gas. Right. So next, we're going to be having the atomization. That's what always happens because up here we have two gases. Down here, we have a solid and a gas. So there's going to be some sort of in between whereby we have to convert our solids into gases. And that uh, the definition for that is just going to be the enthalpy of atomization. So first off, we can see here that this goes from a gas into a gas, but it's going from half of a diatomic gas into one mole of a single atom. So that's clearly enthalpy of uh, atomization then of oxygen. Next off, we're going to have the enthalpy of atomization of potassium. Now, uh, if we draw that in, we're going to be having two moles of potassium gaseous now, because we've atomized it, plus oxygen gaseous. 
have to be really careful in these situations where we're dealing with two moles of something, okay? Because anything, if if we uh, if this is the enthalpy change for the atomization of potassium, this is going to be one mole potassium. But we have to do two moles, so we're going to have to simply times this value by two when we get back to the calculations. We're not at that stage yet because we're still filling out the cycle, but um, it would help us down the road just to make a note that this is times two. Right, what's next? So next is going to be the ionization of potassium, right? So the first ionization of potassium is here. So I'm just going to make a note of this. Now you might be thinking, why is he making a note of this now? It's because we're sort of filling out the, the uh, born harbor cycle as we're going anyway. So I might, have, might as well make a note of it while I'm explaining it to you. In the actual exam myself, I probably wouldn't fill these in. I wouldn't even write them down. I would just put the values down. Um, save yourself some time, but let's fill this in. So, uh, sorry, not atomization, ionization energy one um, of the potassium. Again, this value that we have here, the 419, this is going to be for one mole of potassium atoms into one plus ions. We have to times that by two, remember. So again, just as previously, I'm going to just put a little times two in there. Let's put that there as well. Now, they haven't been very kind to us here. This is a four marker, so it kind of makes sense. But normally this value would be here, and we'd sort of have to calculate this. So you just fill in the dots, uh, fill in the gaps, sorry. But in this case, they haven't. So you just sort of have to remember what's going on. So essentially what happens here is um, we take this oxygen becomes reduced and accepts these electrons. But we're going to be doing it in stages. So first off, we're going to have our 2K plus gaseous as in this previous one. Then we're going to be adding 1O minus gaseous plus an electron. Now this is going to take up the other electron onto itself and be reduced. So we're going to have 2K plus gaseous plus O2 minus gaseous. So earlier, remember I said that the lattice enthalpy um, is when we form a solid ionic lattice from its constituent ions in the gaseous state. So here, obviously, knowing that, we would, if we, for some reason, put this as a solid still, we would know that, okay, we, we messed up somewhere. So that's four marks done right there. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right. Next, we have to calculate the lattice enthalpy. So this is only the two marker one, but I feel like there's more... Um, more understanding involved here. So there's different ways to go about this calculation. So essentially, because this is an energy diagram, energy cannot be uh, created or destroyed. So anything that is on this side of the energy cycle, remember this is uh, essentially a graph. So as we go up here on this energy, this is a higher, 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 higher energy. And it's the same here. So each side has to have an equal amount of energy being given out or taken in. So what we can do is we can just equate the left hand side to the right hand side. So in other words, the energy on the left hand side of the cycle is going to equal the right hand side of the cycle. Now this is perfectly fine. You can use this method if you want. I actually prefer another method because I find it um, far more consistent because I feel like when you've got uh, situations where this arrow is going down, um, and it's not just a simple equal playing field from the left and the right hand side, people can uh, make mistakes. So I'd say give these questions a few practice uh, goes, with different types of questions, find what works for you. But I'm going to explain the method that I always like to use. So what I like to do is I like to mark out where we're starting in this energy cycle. So we're starting here and where are we finishing? We're finishing right down here at this low energy here. So that's essentially, we want to know what is this energy of this arrow right here, um, our enthalpy, our lattice enthalpy. And all we have to do here is we have to go in the opposite direction. So we can start at this energy cycle. And as long as we finish here, we're all right. So we can go around the entire cycle. So, but you want to make sure you're making a note of which direction you're going against the arrow. Now, if you understand this method and you can apply it to a question, it's guaranteed four marks guaranteed because you can't make a mistake so we're going against this arrow remember in any sort of energy cycle if you go against an arrow you reverse the sign of that value so we're going to go against this value up to this point we're going to go down here against this arrow against this arrow 
against this arrow and with this arrow. It's always important to make a note of whether you're going against or with an arrow. So let's just draw this out. So our lattice enthalpy um, of potassium uh, oxide is going to be, first off, let's put the values on the table. I actually haven't done that. So first off, formation of potassium oxide, I'm going to put here a value of minus 363. Now, when you're if you're unsure of if you're putting the you're matching the correct value to the value on the born harbor cycle, just check the sign. If the arrow is going down, then uh, it's, it has to be negative, and if the arrow is going up, it has to be positive. So for whatever reason, if you've matched a certain value to an arrow which is positive, but it's actually negative in the table, you've made a mistake somewhere. Right. So next thing that's done minus three six three. Uh, next thing is atomization of oxygen. Where's that? So that's plus two four nine. Right. The next one is the atomization of. Let's actually tick these off. So we've done this one. We've done atomization of oxygen. Atomization of potassium is next, which is eighty nine. But we have to times that by two. Remember. Next is the first ionization energy of potassium. Um, so let's tick that off. So that's four nineteen plus 419 times it by two remember um, next we have the first electron affinity of oxygen it's minus 141 and then we've got a positive arrow this time 790 for the second electron affinity of oxygen so we've ticked all these off make sure we didn't miss anything out um, next thing we're going to do is just add them all up so we're going to be doing our starting point so against this arrow is going to be minus 790 Whoops, minus 790. Um, this one is minus 141, but we have to go against it. So it's going to be plus 141. Um, this arrow is 419, but we have to go against it. So it's going to be negative. Now, times two. Remember, that's really important. Times two. Um, so that's going to be 419. We've minus it, remember. Next one, the arrow is going down. Um, so it's going against the arrow. So it's going to be minus uh, two lots of 89. Because there's two moles of potassium, remember? Anytime you have two moles of something, got to double it up. All right, next one, what were we doing here? So we did the 419, did the 89, 249. Um, that's going against it, so we're going to do minus 249. And the last, la last one is minus 363. We're going with the arrow, so that's just going to keep the sign the same. Now, essentially, this is what we've done. We've gone from here to here, but just the long way around. But because, because energy has to be conserved, um, it's going to be the same answer. So if you put this in your calculator, it should give you a value of minus 2,277. And this is in kilojoules per mole. So we'd stick that there. So collectively, this is six marks. Now this would normally, I guess you would say this is a six marker question. They've just split it into two. But um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any topic suggestions of content you really are struggling with, you want some past paper demonstrations of, um, let me know down below, like the video, best of luck with your exams, peace.